so what we got to look at here is the culture of Yahuwah, the ways of Yahuwah versus the Greek pagan culture. Culture says a lot about how things are going to get emanated, how they're going to be projected, how they're going to be translated. Huh? What's the culture of the Greek? What's the Greek culture like, fam? What is it? You already know. Hollywood is full of it. Greek pagan mighty ones, sign named gods. That's what it's filled with. I just went and put together a chart just to kind of refresh your memory because you know most of these. You've heard of most of these. And are they real? No. But are they worshipped? Yes. Are they honored? Yes. In which culture? Greek culture, which is now expanded all over the world. And more than likely, you've been influenced by it. Like I was early on until I snapped and came out of it. Look at Zeus, known as the what? King of the G-O-Ds, the gods. Oh, hey, Zeus. E.A. Zeus. Who's another Zeus? Jesus. Why do you think they wanted you to believe in Jesus? Because they want you to believe that Zeus is the king. So if I can get you to believe in a Greek translation, in a Greek culture, if I can get you to believe in that Greek culture and that Greek translation, I can go ahead and whittle it down and get you to believe in a Greek G-O-D, mighty one, which is against Yahuwah's commandments. You know it. You're going to put all your hope on Jesus knowing that it's out of the Greek culture and translations. That's where it came from. That's why they don't even want to deal with these quote. This is what's so amazing. This, this, these quote scholars just say, hey, let's deal with those minority Greek texts. Let's deal with the Codex Sinaiticus and Vaticanus and Alexandrus. Let's deal with them. They're going to say, no, 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 no. You want to know why? I know why, because we've got one. When it says the name of the Savior in those texts, it says Yahoo Crew. There was no capital and lowercase letters. It's all capital, no spaces in the original Greek. But they won't even give that credence because they can't get away with getting you to believe in Jesus. Did I make that point? The king of the G-O-Ds, the sky, the sun, the weather, the order, the justice. Hera, queen of the G-O-Ds, marriage, women, childbirth, Poseidon. Y'all watching all these movies in Hollywood? The G-O-D of the sea, seas, earthquakes, horses. That's their domain, they say. Athena, Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, wisdom, strategy, arts, crafts, war, Ares, the god of war, war, bloodshed, violence. These are, this is the culture that everybody's trying to say that the Brit Hadash came out of. Come on. Apollo, god of the arts and prophecy, sun, light, prophecy, music, arts, mediums. What else? Artemis, the goddess of hunting, moon, hunting, wilderness, and animals, supposedly her domain. Oh, Aphrodite. Oh, yeah. All y'all out there that's all into Valentine's Day and all that stuff. Well, you're worshiping Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, love, beauty, desire. Hermes, the messenger of the GODs, the gods, the travelers, the merchants, communication boundaries. Demeter, the goddess of agriculture. Oh, that's who's really giving you your harvest, your grain, your fertility, huh? I think not. Dionysus. Dionysus, God is of wine, God of wine and celebration, wine, pleasure, festivity, theater. Oh, that's what you get your fun and, ha fun and happiness from. No, we don't. Hestia, goddess of the hearth, hearth, home, the domesticity, city. Domesticity, I'm sorry, domesticity. I don't even want to say those words. Keep moving. Hephaestus, god of forge, fire, metal, sculpture. Persephone, goddess of springtime, seasons. Queen of the underworld. Oh, you probably heard of Hades. God of the underworld. Underworld, dead, riches beneath the earth. Is that who controls what happens with the dead? No, it's Yahuwah. But that's the culture of the Greek, that the Greek writings are based on. And that is a fact. That's a fact. The culture of Yahuwah versus the Greek pagan culture. Are you into all these GODs? 
Because I'm telling you who they're trying to grab you to. They're trying to grab you to that land, to that world, to that life. That's why they're trying to grab you to. But I'm here to tell you, choose who you will serve. And if it seems evil in your eyes to serve Yahuwah, then choose for yourselves this day who you are going to serve. Whether it be the mighty ones which your fathers served that were beyond the river, that's what most people are into, ancestry worship. That's what Yahusha, Joshua was saying here, ancestry worship. Or is it going to be the mighty ones of the Amorim in whose land that you currently live? He's saying, so where you live at now, the government you're under now, the teachers you've been under, the religion you've been, been under now, choose whether it be the mighty ones, the G-O-Ds of your ancestors, or choose where it is where you live now. He goes, but as for me and my house, we serve Yahuwah. That's what my house does. We serve Yahuwah. I don't care about all these other traditions. I don't care what pastor said, what the pastor said, or what the scholars say. I don't care. If they can't back it up with common sense, truth from scripture as backed up by science and history science and history is pointing to the same thing and isn't it unique that yahusha sign named joshua wrote this and that our savior took on this exact same name yahusha and he had to take that name on because it means yahuwah is salvation he couldn't take on his real name of yahuwah the messiah the mashiach because they would have killed him right away. Then he would have never even made it. Unless Yahuwah stopped it, but he came here on a purpose. But he took on the name of Yahusha. Now, Yahusha came after Masha. And he had that warrior spirit. And so you got to decide, are you going to have that warrior spirit that stands for the truth? Yahusha's challenging you, Joshua, is you got to choose who you're going to serve. You're going to serve your traditions? And I'm talking about all of you that has even called on the name of Yahuwah, but still has yet to accept who he really is. Yahusha is Yahuwah. Choose who you're going to serve. Yeah, you got to choose.